Hey guys, what's up, Moodles here, and welcome back to another video. And today is very special because season 5 is finally here in Fortnite. You can see the new loading screen um, in front of me now. I've got all the new skins, they all look amazing. Um, Fortnite really blew themselves away, blew us away. Um, yeah. So yeah, so as you can see, isn't the music's the same, music hasn't changed. You got the two new um, tier 1 skins, I bought the battle pass, I haven't upgraded all the way to max because I don't have that much money, or any money at all. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I just play save the world, get V-Bucks from there, and then I went to go buy the, the battle pass. I've been grinding the entire day yesterday, I couldn't record yesterday, my, my throat was sore, I didn't want to talk. My voice was you know so I decided not to record yesterday yeah so there's a lot of new stuff map changes lobby changes just a few just a few cool cool new changes to the game so as we log in here yeah, I just want to say um, thank you guys for all the support so far on the channel the channel's been doing well recently I've been getting more views than usual I've been getting uh, more influx of subscribers and stuff so yeah so you can see here, uh, I don't want you guys to listen to this, right? When you change, it has a different sound, and when you click in, it has a different sound. That's just like a, you know, it's a minor change, but it makes the game that much better, and that much nicer to play. So as you can see, you load in here, um, okay, I glitched there. But as you load in here, and you can see the, the background has changed, and that's because there's a new biome, which is the desert, as you see, there's a desert in the background. Yes, yeah, so you got me as the new skin. We'll go through all the sh all the um, battle pass items first, right? So here, tier one, we got the hunters, and we got the drift. Now the drift has um, the challenges to unlock. So now they changed the way it works, right? So last season it was based on your season level, and this time they changed it. Now it's based on how much XP you gain once you've unlocked the book. So. That means when I unlocked the book, I was sitting on zero XP, right? Whether I gained five million XP before this and only unlocked the book today, I would still have zero XP on this book. I will start gaining, gaining, gaining XP, and it never, never runs out. There. I have no time limit. I can just do this until it's complete, which means I'm basically guaranteed if you play the game just a little bit every day, you're guaranteed to get it eventually, to get all the way to maxed out, right? There's the new road trip challenges, which is the um, complete any seven challenges, which is complete all the challenges for a week, you know, your weekly challenges. They did change the weekly challenges also, in that three weekly challenges per week are um, for free pass also. So, as you can see, deal damage to SMG, search supply alarm, and clean a steam bomb grenade items. So, each week, um, the free pass people also have something to do. But that does mean that they cannot do the road trip challenges, like, even though they complete all their challenges, because they don't have the battle pass, they complete other four in which to get it. So then you've got 10 weeks once again, and then here we have battle pass. So we'll go through, again, here you see the drift. We've got this cool drift loading screen, so like he turned into this amazing, I believe this is the, the Kinsun, Kinsun mask. I believe that's what the, the Japanese mythology type thing. Which, as you can see, it changing right here. It really, really looks cool. I like how it sparkles and, and stuff. Then we got a cruiser glider, tier seven, and tier six is the gentleman's dab. Now there's a new toys also. So when you actually use the basketball, you actually throw the basketball. Like you legit throw the basketball. Um, there's this new Norse emblem, there's an uplink backpack, there's a balloon axe, <laughs> looks pretty cool. Uh, there's the abstract showcase, the lanterns look pretty cool. The downshift, glad which I'm one tier away from getting. The red line skin, there's golf balls, I haven't seen anything about the golf balls. Like how you actually work, I haven't unlocked them yet. There's a new lug axe pickaxe, there's... Now I saw this somewhere, I can't remember where I saw it, like I saw that somewhere. 
Yes, Sunstrider um, concept art. There's the runic freefall um, contrail. The conquest ladder, which if you guys are not a big fan of mythology, North North mythology in general, uh, Norse mythology. I love this is obviously Viking North Norse mythology. There's beach balls. There's this. <laughs> Two plus two plus four. There's the Sunstrider. Um, there's Banakon. There's a glitch in the system. Contra, which I really, really like. It's a rear guard. Um, back bling, which is pretty cool. There's a fancy golf ball. Uh, swipe. Yep, you can just swipe. Just swipe. There's the omen loading screen. There's the ice crystals, which is probably one of my favorite. Uh, the sledgehammer, advanced forces, fancy beach ball, which looks pretty cool. The red knight, um, what you call lonely screen, the splashdown glider. I will see to go with uh, Sunstrider skin. Then you got the TP <laughs> toilet paper, pretty interesting. We got rook. We've got the fancy basketball, the tomato head, <laughs> breakdown. Yeah, I like that. And then Ragnarok. I told you I love Norse mythology. This skin is amazing. So like I was saying earlier with how the um, the new um, challenges work to upgrade your skins. Although this says, right, level, you unlock this one, number 235,000 XP. Say I've got 50,000 XP when I unlock this. It will still say zero in the Ragnarok challenges book. And I'll grind from the time I get the XP. I'll start putting XP into the book as I earn it. And like I said, even if I get on the last day of season five, I end up getting this. I'll still be able to grind the entire like ten seasons, however many seasons Fortnite's gonna have, to get this. So it's almost guaranteed. The skin looks absolutely amazing. It even looks like good in this form. I saw it on the loading screen. I'm like, ah, oh, I want that skin. And then it turns into this amazing, amazing skin. So yeah, so that's that's the new battle pass. I'm not gonna buy since you only have 40 V bucks left. After grinding for 950, it's so all the challenges, all that stuff on the loading screen. Yeah, so there's a few as you switch like between pages, it's like, kind of like glitchy, it's kind of like it's like some more cool side effects. Um, yeah, so like I got my drift, I've got stage one already done. So we're gonna hop into a game. Um, well, I'm going to hop into the replay mode and I'm going to show you everything new in the Fortnite map. It'll be really cool, really epic, so let's get into it. So guys, here we are, and if you just look at the map from the split of the replay mode, you can see everything has changed. Rip Moisty Mire, Moisty Mire is gone. There's Paradise Palms, a whole new desert biome there. Anarchy is also gone, there's Lazy Links, it's an amazing golf course with some tennis courts and other stuff around. There's a new Viking area as you can see in like to the left of the map by Snobby Shores and all hills now like a Viking area. Dusty Divot is full of trees, a lot of trees and some water. And if you look in the top, um, kind of north of Pleasant Park, there used to be this like group of broken down houses completely gone, which is pretty interesting um, and sad because I kind of like that place. But I don't know, rip, so we'll see. So as you can see, here's the battle pass. We're just looking over right now. Hold on, let me get rid of that. There we go. That's better. Ah, oh, what? Um. Okay, guys. So the new place we're gonna check out uh, yet is the new desert biome, as you can see. Uh, let's just zoom out a bit. It's pretty big. It took up the whole of Moisty Mire. The entire swamp is gone. Um. Yeah, as you can see, the little bridge it crosses now is like still the normal bridge. If you look, like it starts, and then where the break is, it turns into like the the old, um, the new like western theme type we got going here. Paradise Palm is actually kind of like a resort, kind of reminds me of kind of like a you know 1970 type name, you know like Paradise Palms. It's very new, definitely very modern. Um, I like, I love the modern look, I love the modern uh, buildings, everything. If you come over here, kind of north. Um, northeast of it you've got the new racetrack which has kind of been revamped there's a little gas station over there the new racetrack has been revamped with the new 
new golf carts or the ATKs, the all-terrain cart. Hopefully we can find one in here, can we? Nope, no one in here. Where are the golf carts? Where are the golf carts at? It doesn't matter, but there's golf carts in the game, okay guys? And they're pretty epic. Um, you can find them around the map in different various places. So yeah, they changed the entire racetrack now, you can use the golf carts. The golf carts can hold up to four people. So you and your entire squad can hop in a golf cart. The passengers can shoot, obviously the driver can't. And there's a little like, kind of like western like farm area. It looks like, you know, keep cattle, little house, um, little silo there. There's like a few stuff dot around the map. A few cars, like a little broken down house over here. Got another little mini junk junction, I'd call it. Um, yeah, like mini junk junction with a few chests. As we come further on here, we've actually got like, you know, like little cars and like a little house, another little house with a dinosaur, interestingly enough. Dinosaur statue. A few of them dot around the map. Or this area at least. There's a nice bridge over here. And here it comes like kind of like a like a western 1900s, 1800s type little city. There's a lot of loot here. I've been here once. There's a lot of chests, a lot of ammo. Um, but this is a really cool place to go visit. If you come further on, there's truck and oasis. Um, like a little little gas station, it's like a little shop, a little barn with another silo type thing. So really it's a mix of like western, there's some few modern stuff. And then over here, you know, carries on and then it just changes into the normal land. So this is the normal land. It's very mountainy, very there's a lot of stuff on top of the mountains. There's like a little like a little car and a, a chest on top of it, with another chest on the rock, a little house over here. There's a rock with two chests on it. There's a few, there's a few cacti over here, with another chest, Ooh. two chests actually, there's a little interesting little, there's actually bushes here also, which if you ask me they shouldn't have put any bushes in here, they should have just left it barren, with no bushes, so no bush campers could be allowed here. Um, now we're gonna go and check out the divot, which is actually pretty interesting, and there's a lot of trees everywhere, there's trees inside the actual like divot compound. Um, there's, a, there's water, there's a few more mushrooms now dotted around But there's a lot of trees, all the chests and stuff have stayed the same Like there's a few piles of water, the divot, the dusty uh, depot hasn't been rebuilt yet Factories are still gone unfortunately Yeah, and if you come over here, right And you look right down here, there is one of those, I think it's called the Stone Edge, you know, Easter Island but This one has like a little moustache Which is pretty cool But two chests, three chests around it um, it's pretty cool, so like that's been teleported into the map. There's another one over this way. We'll check that out later, but yeah, we got the new Lazy Lynx, which is a massive golf course, like putt-putt course. Um, which is really, really cool, um, built in like, you know, the road and stuff. There's a lot of golf carts here, you can see one over there. But no, where are the golf carts? For some reason it seems that the golf carts aren't showing up in the replay mode. Which seems to be a little glitch. I'll maybe hop into a game afterwards and show you one drive around in a bit. Yeah, so there's a massive golf course. Obviously, you can play with the new golf ball and the fancy golf. You can play putt putt with your friends, challenge your friends. Um, there's a little swimming pool with tennis courts. There's a few houses. It's like an estate. There's like a little grass shrubbery thing here. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. There's a parking lot with a chest of the cars. Yeah, and the motel sign is still gone. And then you've come over here to the little broken down houses, they like called World War II town. Um, it's, it like seems to have been teleported away and in place is another one of the Stonehenge people. People, faces, with two chests, three chests or so. Um, yeah, so that, that entire thing just took out. To be fair, I'm pretty sure there were only like three chests anyway, <laughs> the total of that area, so it doesn't make much of a difference. Um, yeah, so that's all the, basically almost everything this side. If we come across uh, all the way to the mountain, past the the, the super villain base, which is still here, hasn't gone anyway. Still there, chest is still there. We've got a Viking settlement. Now we see the Vikings teleported here and whatnot. 
And there's a whole Viking settlement here. So there's a big boat with like a water river that flows all the way down here. It goes past the big footprint building thingy. Yeah, so there's a bunch of Viking settlements. Um, but not a bunch, it was one Viking settlement. It was really cool. Like I said, I'm a fan of North, Norse mythology. I'm a fan of my Vikings. I know a few things about like but all the mythology, all the gods, all that stuff. Um, yeah, so it's really cool. Uh, you can see the little llama thing, which is the loading screen we get also. Pretty cool, I like how they use the llama. They obviously got a smaller version that has a glider. Oh, legendary vending machine down there. I don't know what. Okay, well, the vending machine is um, it's interesting. It's showing a blue picture. <laughs> is it always blue, or is that just me? I don't know, um, yeah, the burger head actually, as you can see the Greasy Grove, is now by Pleasant Park. Um, I'm gonna show the trailer at the beginning of this video before I start everything, like the actual trailer to the thing. So you'll see the, the getting teleported in over here with the the drifter, the drifter I think it's called, yeah. And this little, this little spray. It's pretty cool, uh, the burger head. I'm surprised the tomato head, we haven't found like a random place. Um, we haven't like found any other stuff in the random place like the, t the Lonely Lodge sign, the motel sign, the tomato head. I was surprised, even the retail road, the norm sign, that they haven't just been chucked around the map in a few places. That would be really cool. So yeah guys, the map has changed. It's really, really cool. It brings a new like feel to the map. And I've been playing a few games and the game just feels more modern. It feels better, like I, I feel the game just feels better, it has a different vibe to it, different feel, it's a good feel, it's a nice feel. And I feel like Epic Games have really done themselves well, um, they've really done well, they've really uh, um, made us happy and made everybody happy and really just improved the game, the structure of the game, the way the game plays, the way the game looks. Because um, if you're chilling in the desert actually, Sometimes there's like a gust of wind that goes over and it brings sand also. I can see people dropping Tilted. Tilted is still popular. You would think that with um, two, three new big areas to explore, there's going to be like maybe two people going Tilted, but no, there's still half the lobby chilling in Tilted. Like, Jesus, like, I don't get, I don't get this. Like, surely people want to go somewhere else besides Tilted. And the battle bus is still there. Like, it's just insane, it's insane, but yeah. Honestly, I would prefer Fatal Fields to go away, like to be replaced by Lazy Links. But I feel like they removed Anarchy because um, otherwise the Lazy Links have been too close to the Paradise Palms. You kind of, you know, spread out your new map so people are still spread out. Because you don't want an entire, like, because in half a lobby is going to go Lazy Links and half a lobby is going to go Paradise Palms. Then you can have the entire lobby in this small area. So obviously they don't want to remove Fatal Fields. So they removed um, Anarchy. I preferred Anarchy, which is kind of sad for me. Um, and if you guys are wondering, the new treasure location, the the map, is in Rescue Reels. And the new treasure location is chilling right right here. Right there, slap bam behind this little patch of like weird grass here. That black like, small little patch there, further on, it's right there. You'll find it right there. Um, pretty nice, pretty neat. Is that a llama? There's a llama there. Hi llama. I already did my challenge to open my llama. Um, I got lucky I found it. But hello llama. Um, yeah, so actually I want to go check something. That bunker that's chilling in Wailing Woods. Is it still there? Like, cause we haven't had anything happen with it at all. Which was like over here somewhere. Yeah. Like nothing's happened with the bunker. And there's still nothing. Still absolutely nothing with the bunker. We everyone thought that bunker had to play a role in season five and so far it's done nothing. Absolutely nothing. Of course there's another one of those stone hedge things up here. Looks like. Also with three chests. It's got big ears. <laughs> Very weird. Ah. So yeah guys, there's all the new changes in the map of season five. I say Epic Games really outdone themselves. They really proved us wrong. We thought there was going to be some minor changes, 
some small things here and there, but they really showed us that we can never we can never know what's going on with them. They always have something to show us that we have no clue about. They just they just surprise us over and over again. Really, really surprise us. They're really, really good. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed. Um I did do one for season four at the beginning of season four. Um I did one there and you guys seem to enjoy that one. So if you guys enjoyed this one also, um leave a like if you did, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell as always, because you know YouTube once again just just messed up. <laughs> and yeah, um as you can see there's a little view of Paradise Palms. See you guys in the next one.